most impressive part about this week was the way that the competitors supported each other. If someone was struggling with logger markers or with how to use their equipment well or just dealing with the software, everyone was really supportive and everyone was working on bringing each other up. I mean, of course, we're all, we're all looking to be number one, but everyone was really supportive and I think that was the, the piece of this week that really made it shine. So the whole week has actually felt pretty good. There was one day where I was, I was not sure if I would do very well, but um, it's, it's been fun the entire time. There's, there's not been a day that wasn't super enjoyable. The tasks that were called were a lot of fun to fly. I think some of the hard targets I actually I struggle with a lot more. I do much better at the electronic markers and so actually doing the, the physical throw, trying to figure out how to burn and fence and get to the spot you want to be and have a baggie ready to throw was, was probably more challenging for me. It's not about being the hero on any particular task. It's about getting a solid score on each task and not getting penalized. Um, the other thing is go crew for other events. Go see what, go see it from the ground. It's going to change your perspective. Even having people who, like Cameron, he's a longtime competition pilot. I think he learned a lot by being on the ground this week after competing for a long time. So. Hello and welcome to Baggies Out. You were just watching an interview with one of our pilots, Amanda Broadbeck. And now let's get right into day number four, flight number five of the 2023 U.S. Women's National Championship at the Hot Air Jubilee in Jackson, Michigan. Coverage presented by Cameron Balloons. I'm Dieter. And I'm Karen. And here are the standings after flight number four. Sherry White in first place. Amanda Broadbeck in second, 134 points behind. And Natasha Stanky in third, 312 points behind. Let's get right into today's flight. So Karen, what is the first task for our pilots? Today's first task is task 14, a hesitation waltz. All of our pilots are launching from a CLA, which stands for common launch area, in the middle of the first circle. They are then going to fly into the donut, which you see on your screen, which is made up of the inner circle and the outer circle. They must fly to a grid line intersection anywhere within that donut. Because task 14 was an all digital task, we do not have any footage of pilots flying to targets. However, here are the scores for task number 14. Kimberly Whiteman with a result of six meters gets first place with a thousand points. Amanda Broadbeck with 16 meters gets 863 points. And Sana Harus there in third place with 17 meters gets 849 points. Let's get right into task number 15. Task 15 is a minimum distance double drop. Pilots will be throwing two pink baggies in opposite scoring areas, as you can see here on the field below. They need to get one baggie in each of the A's or one baggie in each of the B's, the opposite scoring areas. And here we have our first pilot coming across the field. This is Kimberly Whiteman. As we can see her, it looks like she's winding up. Nope, baggy out of the basket here. And there's one baggy. There's the other one. The first one looks good, but no, that's oh. going to be out of bounds. Looks like A and B there. Our second pilot across, that's Amanda Broadbeck. Let's see her. Taking her time here on the approach. Let's see her leaning out of the basket. Dropping the first baggy. That one's looking pretty good. And here the second baggie being dropped. And that's going to be a pretty good score, 32.24 meters there for Amanda. Our next pilot coming over, Sherry White. This is looking like a pretty good pass. You can see the baggie on the side of the basket, the wind up, the toss, and... Ooh, that might be out of bounds. Needs to get a really good throw. Try and get it into the other corner. Looks like they might not even be going for it. Let's see, maybe a wind up here. That may just be out of bounds. No score there for Sherry White. Nope, nope, there. Thinking about it. You can it. see. Oh, no, that's not going to be enough. No score there for Sherry. Unfortunate. This is looking like it'll be a pretty good pass here. Meg Skelton, 
You can see her leaning out of the basket there and the wind up. Oh, off the basket. That should still be good. Let's see what her other toss is going to be. This is a minimum distance double drop, so you do need to be able to throw both baggies. You can see her leaning out, venting a little bit. Here's the wind up. A little bit of a toss. Is it going to be enough? Oh, oh. and it is, yep. Meg, with a 36.7 meter drop. Here, Natasha, our next pilot coming across. You can see Natasha's approach is much lower to the ground. This should be a very good approach here. Let's see what they're going to be able to do with their throws. This should at least be a score. Let's see Natasha with that first baggy. Little bit of a wind up. Don't need that much. The toss in the first area. Now flying over the X to the corresponding area. And this should be a pretty decent score here for Natasha. You see, winding up that second baggie right now. As they're already climbing out of this target. There, baggie is out. That's and going to be 25.51 meters. And here, our next pilot is going to be Sana Harus. Already with the wind up. Coming into the target a little bit high. Let's see if she's going to be able to make it. That's a good throw. Oh, but is it going to be enough? Mm, no, that's going to be out of bounds there for Sauna. Next pilot coming in is Kelly Keller in the orange balloon. Let's see what she's going to be able to do. This is looking like a pretty good approach here. A pilot right behind her as well, doing a similar approach. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. That is Janet Lutkus. The balloon behind Kelly. You can see Kelly winding up, but Janet gets her first baggie out there. That's looking like a good toss. And there's the toss from Kelly. That's a really good throw. Let's see what the second Great one's job, going to Kelly. be. Kelly's second bag is out. Oh, with a score of 18.7 meters for Kelly and 22.05 meters for Janet. Now, both of them are going to be very happy with that score. Next oh. into the target is Angelica Haas. Let's see what she's going to be able to do winding up here. A little bit of a toss. Into oh. the forest area? The first area? She's going to have to really throw this next one. She, if, let's see if she's going to be able to do this. You can get quite a good distance with the wind up that we see. Oh, no, and a baseball throw. Oh, and that's not going to be enough. Just out of bounds for Angelica. And here, Shannon Root throwing from altitude. That should be a pretty good toss. That is in, looks like it's in one quadrant. And the second baggie looks like that's going to be good throws, even though Just she was bounce. quite high right there. 59.51 meters. She'll be happy with that pass. Next is Don McKenzie coming across. She's coming taking, right across the X right there. Taking a low approach. This should be, oh, that's going to be a great score. 2.14 meters. That's probably going to be Dawn picking up first place. And that is the target closed here. So that should be Dawn in first place. That 2.14 meters result, 1,000 points for her. Kelly Keller in second with 18.785 points. And Janet Lutkus in third, 22.05 meters, 861 points. That does it for task number 15. So here we are on to task number 16, the final task for the entire competition. Task 16 is a judge declared goal with a free baggy drop. A free baggy drop means that the pilots are able to throw the baggy outside of the basket as long as both feet stay on the bottom of their basket. And here we have our first pilot coming across this target, Kimberly Whiteman. Good baseball throw there. 9.8 meters, a solid score to start off this target. Next up, we have Amanda Broadback, number number 12. Venting pretty aggressively there. 
This is looking like a very good pass. See what she's going to be able to do. There's the throw. Oh, and that's going to be a really good score. 1.7 meters. Next so, up, we have Sherry White dropping into the target now. This is looking like a pretty good pass as well. 1.7 is the score to beat. Leaning out of the basket here. Just going to drop this right on the X. That might do it. 1.22 right. meters. Sherry White. That's probably going to be first place. Next in, we have Meg Skelton, banner number seven. And coming over the target a little bit slower than some of the others looked like with a good windup and a release. 24.87 meters. She'll be pretty happy with that throw. Next up, we have Sana Harus in the red, blue, and white balloon. Venting trying... there. Yeah, she's trying to stall that descent so that she can drop into the, or sorry, stall the ascent so that she can descend into the target. Baggy out. It was a good windup. 18.16 meters there for Sauna. Next one should be Natasha coming over. Looks like this lower level wind is a little bit slower. Here is Natasha is just creeping across this target. This should be a good throw for her. Natasha has a little more of the left than the previous pilots coming in. A Two, good throw. 2.61 meters. Solid third place, but she will be very happy with that. Behind Natasha, we have Kelly Keller, banner number six in the orange, white, and yellow balloon. Dropping into this target, looks like they're going to throw from a little bit higher up. The baggie's already out. That's going to be a decent throw as well. 5.78 meters. Going to be probably top five there. Here comes Carol Ann Walter, banner number two. This is looking like a decent pass as well. With a little bit of a windup. 9.71 meters. She'll be really happy with that score. Behind her is Angelica Haas, banner number 11, coming into the target now. Yeah, she does have an emoji there on that scoop. She has the same matching emoji up on her parachute. That's neat. Not many, uh, not many people have uh, anything on their parachutes. Let's see what she's going to be able to do. Just a baseball throw. 18.44 meters. All the pilots are doing very well on this target so far. Next in, we have Kelly Roca, banner number 10. She's flying one of the few round balloons we have here at the Women's Nationals here in the U.S. Just trying to keep it level, it looks like, coming across the target. A little bit further out than some of the other pilots, but let's see if they're going to be able to get a good throw here. You can see the baggie in her hands. All right, a little bit of a wind-up here. And the baggie's out. That's going to be 28.35 meters. Here we have Shannon Rope, banner number four in the rainbow balloon. Nice wind up there. I should be able to get pretty good distance here. Ooh, and that's actually going to be out of bounds. This was a 50 meter MMA. So that is going to be greater than 50 meters outside the center of the X. Here, our next pilot coming pretty much directly overhead, Kelly Hilberth. The baggie is out. 23.74 meters. She'll be happy with the score there. Here's Don McKenzie, banner number 13. Also a little bit higher, coming right above. And a baseball toss, baggie out. Right outside the legs of the X there, 10.68 meters. And that will do it here for the final task as we see our scoring officials tallying up these baggies as a lot of pilots completely nailed this target three within three meters. As Sherry White with that 1.22 meter result, a thousand points for her. Amanda Broadbeck there in second place with a very good 1.7 meters, 987 points. And Natasha there, 2.61 meters, 962 points. You can see the points do go down pretty quickly with their... Congratulations to our top three finishers. Sherry White in third place. Natasha Stanky in second place. 
And the champion for the 2023 Women's Nationals is Amanda Broadbeck. You've been watching Baggies Out. Thank you to our sponsor, Cameron Balloons. And thank you to all of our patrons. If you like the show and would like to support us, subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description. What other events would you like to see us at next? Comment below. And be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss Flight 1 of the National Balloon Classic coming soon.